Come on, buddy. He's trying. There we go. That time he took his time. And we've got a nice little wild brown trout. Go get big, buddy. Very cool. Another little brownie. Alright, so it is uh, May 27th and it's a really pretty day today. Partly partly cloudy. It's warm but not like yesterday. It's probably in the low 80s. Um, I'm out here on one of my absolute favorite little streams. It is a uh, the upper stretch of a pretty well-known medium-sized stream that's heavily stocked and does get a lot of fishing pressure in the certainly in the early part of the season and the lower stretches I think do hold some trout but typically does warm up quite a bit and the flows get a little bit low so this is an upper stretch um, there are several miles above here that I've fished and it's a very productive fishery generally wild fish Mostly brook trout, I would say a ratio of probably, I don't know, 10 to 1 or something like that. But um, mostly smaller fish, but some, some of the brookies do get up to a foot or even more. I have caught one brook trout that was uh, 13 and a half inches, which out of a small stream in uh, the southern tier of New York is pretty, pretty good. It's a trophy. So there are some browns in here, some stock fish do work their way up here. Um, but generally the ones I catch are wild, a lot of small wild browns, but, uh, occasionally a larger fish and I have seen some, some monsters come out under, from, under logs or under cuts. Uh, I've never hooked one of these larger fish. I've tried, but, um, at some point I'll hook up with one, but there's some big wild browns that get up in here. They certainly come up and spawn and I think some of them come up for, uh, thermal refuge in the, in the heat of the summer. So anyway. I did have one mishap today, getting out of my car. I was having some trouble with my tailgate and futzing around with it. I had the window open and I did the thing you're not supposed to do. I leaned my fly rod into the window and then I closed the tailgate window. I don't usually use the tailgate window, so that's my excuse, but I snapped my rod in two spots. So I did have a backup. This is my, this is a rod I actually put together from a, uh, I don't remember if it was a kit or if I just bought all the components because it was years ago when I was trying to fish small streams and finding I didn't I needed something tiny. So this is a six and a half foot two weight. Um, I've had it for I don't even know how many years, probably 15, 20 years. It's nothing too fancy. It's just a full flex um, fly rod and uh, it works great for tiny streams. It's a little small for this, but so far it's worked. I've caught a few fish already. Um, and I'm gonna work up into some better water here that hopefully will hold some bigger fish. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna switch up here to a little dropper dry action. This run up here is pretty deep. I'm gonna put a stimulator small stimulator is my dry got a pretty short leader which I need because this rod is teeny I can't really throw a big rig with this and then we will run so that's 4x we'll run some 5x down to a dropper. So for those of you not familiar with the 
the setup. Basically the dry axis fly, you could catch a fish on it. And you can see if the fish want a dry fly. But also, it acts as an indicator or aka bobber for your wet fly or nymph that you're fishing beneath it. So it's a very efficient way to fish, especially when you're starting out the day and you're not sure what they want. It's a great way to figure out if they're dialed in on the surface or if they're more apt to eat a, eat a uh, nymph. Yeah. Nope. Another little brookie. We got this nice little pool here. It's a real consistent pool. Doesn't change much year to year. There's some um, there's some old pieces of uh, riprap, I think. I think there was maybe some stream rehab at some point, some bank stabilization. So you got some pieces there, I think. Um, they've done pretty good scoured out a good pool all this is uh, this kind of clay ledge and then you've got a pretty good area depth right there deeper than you think there's usually a couple fish in here I'm gonna fish the uh, stimulator hairs ear combo There's a decent rookie. Come here, bud. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Easy release, sorta. Another monster. Man, these, these little brookies, man. They're tiny, but they're fun. All right, so here is where the two branches come together. So the the easternmost branch, I've never actually found a name for these different branches, but um, I would call this the main stem to the right. And this is, this river will run, this branch will run much cooler than this branch. Now this one will hold fish. I used to fish it up, um, but now there's a big beaver dam. Makes it tricky. We'll go see if it's still there. But it runs much warmer. Ooh, there's a heron. That's cool. He's out fishing. He's probably doing better than I am. There'll often be a brown trout hanging in this, in this little tiny water right below this beaver dam. There he is. 
we'll see it'll probably be a brook trout yeah it's a brook trout i'd be impressed if it was a brown but like i said it runs warmer so the brookies kind of steer clear once the the river warms up here you go buddy So I'm fishing up the, the east branch and uh, gets a lot smaller, about half the size up here. I just saw a couple fish rising. I mean, these are little, little trout, but let's see if I can't entice one. Nice thing is vegetation is still really low. All the knotweed hasn't gotten real big yet, so it's a little easier to cast. There we go. Ah, that was cool. Come here, buddy. Whoa, look at him go. Putting a bend in the three weight. Or the two weight. I forgot I got the two weight. Yeah, hey, it's probably the best brook you caught. Come here, bud. There you go. That's a nice brookie. So, um, for whatever reason, this this bend pool, I've fished it and caught a dozen brook trout. Um, and if you get above it and look down, there's really not any cover except the bank. You know, the it's a little undercut, but otherwise it's it's a pretty uniform pool, but for whatever reason, it's usually full of trout. Um, and they'll usually rise. And they are in here. Just about every cast. Get a fish. And they're all little guys so far, but hopefully up at the head of the pool there'll be a couple bigger fish. But I'm more than happy catching these guys. Hoping for a bigger one up in there, but come here, buddy.
Okay. But there's a nice little guy. There we go. Oh, that was a good one. Man, that was a good cast. I was thinking maybe there's a fish right in that little spot. Darn. All right, well, it is about quarter past four. I've been fishing for a few hours and uh, about ready to call it quits. Um, great day, caught a ton of fish. Very happy to see lots of wild rookies, some wild browns in the mix, and uh, a little bummed I didn't catch any bigger fish. I hooked a couple that were slightly bigger than the four to six inch range that I caught most of, but um, they're in here, and I'm sure I'll be out uh, plenty of times this summer and after them again. And uh, the only other bad thing was broke a fly rod, but it happens, no big deal. So anyway, thanks for coming along with me. I hope it was enjoyable, and uh, see you next time.